Hello everyone, you are come to comprehension class and our topic for today is no. Quite an interesting topic, right? Okay, now our learning objective is that at the end of the class you will be able to explain how snow forms, identify the particular season it forms, read the comprehension passage correctly, identify any words to add to your vocabulary bank, and complete an activity to show that you understood the lesson. Now let's read the comprehension passage together. Just like I printed, the topic is snow. All right. People have different opinions about snow. Some people like it because it makes everything look pretty or because it can be fun to play in the snow. Other people see snow as dangerous. Some people have never experienced snow. So how does snow fall? Snow forms during winter period and is made when air is very cold. In the clouds, water freezes and crystals of ice form. Each crystal grows in a pattern as the crystals touch each other. They stick together and form snowflakes. Every single snowflake is different from all the others. Now, what are the dangers of snow? Snow settles on trees and can sometimes break off the branches with its weight. When it snows, it can be difficult for wild animals to find food. On the road, snow can bring danger to drivers because cars can easily slide on the snow or become stuck in it. In the mountains, snow can cause avalanches, where huge amounts of snow sweep down from the mountainside causing loss of danger or damage. All right, snow spots. Snow is important for some spots. There are some sports that can only be done on snow, so that's skiing, snowboarding, sledging, and tobogganing. People who enjoy these exciting snow sports are happy when there is loss of snow. All right, I know this passage is quite interesting and self-explanatory. It tells us all about snow, okay? When it forms, why people think it's dangerous, and then, of course, the dangers that accompany it, the sports that, it, that are usually done on snow, and so on and so forth. So you have to, of course, read it again and notice what the areas that it touched. Okay, now let's move on. Now, look at the picture, the slide in front of you. You notice the house, the first picture there, you see a house almost covered in snow, okay? So you can imagine how the people that are inside the house, how they feel, how cold they will feel, and of course, they will need heater or fire in order to keep themselves warm so that they don't freeze to death, right? These are the dangers of snow. That's why some people have different opinions about snow. Then the second image, you can see a vehicle, a truck, almost, you know, the blizzard, you can see, almost covered in snow. The person driving, of course, won't see clearly, and this can certainly lead to an accident, all right? These are also the dangers posed by snow, okay? Now you can see the little girl, another picture. The little girl that has formed snowman. We call that thing that she is leaning on a snowman. So you can see the girl is enjoying herself and has formed something, okay, with the snow. And then you see the last image there, a person skiing. That's the spot there. A person is skiing on the snow. So that's why some people enjoy snow times. They enjoy the winter because they tend to have fun during that period and some consider it dangerous, all right? So what do you think about snow? So you have to find out for yourself. You may not have experienced snow, all right? But you can still, having experienced it, having watched it, having read it, what do you think about snow? Now let's move on. Okay, so we have vocabulary, and the key words there are damage, skiing, snowboarding, sledging, and tobogganing. Okay, damage, of course, you know, means harm or injury. Then skiing, of course, is a type of sport done on the snow using 
a ski a pair of long flat runners called skis okay then snowboarding has gained popularity in the winter and paralympic sports okay it is of course a sport used with snowboard attached to a rider's feet and then sledging it is an activity of traveling across snow on a sledge while tobogganing is another sport that uses slade down a snow or ice covered slope okay you go through them again in order to get used to them all right so you will go through them again read them again of course to understand the different aspects of this game but they are all sports done on the snow all right so this is where we draw the cutting for today i hope you enjoyed the lesson Remember, if you have any question, you can always reach me from through mom and dad, and your question will get answered. So remember to stay safe and maintain good hygiene. Till we meet again, this is Mrs. Nelly Henshaw signing off. Bye bye.